everyone, Corey to K4 Red Carpet Report in Hollywood at the season two premiere of Powers, a PlayStation Network original. Hey, hey Terry. Hi. Kaori. <laughs> how, how are you? I'm good, how are Tell you? Tell me your name again? Kaori. Kaori. Yes, that's, Kaori. That's, that's, it's I'm Japanese. Awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, I thank like you. That's a cool name. Oh, my, I, I like your name because it's easy on the ears <laughs> and easy to pronounce. Easy to pronounce, I guess so, yeah. I'll give you that one. All right, well, congratulations on season two. Can you tell us what to expect off your character? Any changes for you? Well, I wasn't in season one. Season two... I'm bad. No, it's okay. You should be in season one. I should, I should be in season one. Um, let's go back and reshoot the whole season. Um, well, season two... Um, it is has is just kind of taking a notch forward from season one or a couple notches. Uh, visually, I think that'll be the, the main thing that the audience sees visually. It'll look visually different. All, all the, the special effects and the visual effects and the production design and costuming. Trisha, our costume designer, amazing. Uh, I think everything really came together for this one. So since you weren't in season one, tell us a little bit about your character. My character's name is Nicole Glantz, and she is a reporter, much like yourself, um, for PTB, which is the powers that be, and she reports mainly on powers. And uh, kind of in the vein of TMZ, maybe a little gossipy, a little kind of a, um, a, a shit starter, if I can say that. Um, yeah, and, and she's going to do whatever she can to, to get forward in her career. Does she have any powers of her own or dreams of power? I guess you'll have to see. Yeah. <laughs> if you could have a superpower, what would it be and why? I think I, I well, besides flying, like I, I was just telling her, um, besides flying, I think everybody wants to fly. I mean, you do it in your dreams. It's just, it would feel amazing. You'd get places quicker. Um, but I think mind control. I would be scared to do that. I, I think I would be invisible. I'd like to be the fly on the wall. You know, I kind of like that as well. I, don't, I feel like there's always a drawback of, of whatever superpower it might be. Like being invisible, I've thought about that one. I'm like, well, I might get really lonely because people can't see, you know. I, I like really try to go in depth and think about it. I get, maybe I'm like thinking about it too much, I don't know. I'm so used to being alone, it's so like it's fine. <laughs> Like the Harry Potter, the cloak and the, the invisibility yeah. cloak. Oh, I could do that. Like just like a cloak every now and then. Harry Potter fan. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Who is it? But how are you? Now we're like talking to Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just change this interview it's to Harry Potter. You know. <laughs> um, do you play any games on PlayStation? Are you a gamer or a comic book reader? I'm don't. I don't play. I'm not a big gamer. Um, I wasn't really a comic book reader until um, I had a great role on The Walking Dead. Then I started kind of dabbling in Walking Dead comics, and I went out and I got. Um, I, my character's based on a character named Colette McDaniel in the comics, or so I was told. Maybe they lied to me, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and so I went out and uh, looked at some of the Powers comics that were available to me at the time, and, uh, and I bought a couple. So, yeah, I'm kind of... I, I don't know why I haven't discovered comics sooner, because I'm such a visual person. I'm not a big book reader, but I'm a visual person, so I think I would really be into comics. It's never too late. It's never too late. Comic Con, LA Con, you can cosplay the perfect body. It's, yeah, I, I need to go to those. That sounds fun. Just like dressing up, and I want to go to those. You find an invisible cloak. And... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations. You too. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and don't forget to press that thumbs up button and click that subscribe button as well. And comment below and let me know what superpower you would have. I know I would be invisible.